Hi again, it's the 21st of September 2014, this is the second video I've put up today and unlike the first one it's not going to be about that uh, dull and depressing subject of elitist control and power, it's going to be about something entirely different, just um, about something, a little experience or a moment that I had today. First of all, have you ever had one of those days where, you know, you'd like to think you was going to get plenty done? and it just doesn't work out. Well, <clears throat> I had a good start to the day. I remember when I first work, woke up and I had a craving for a hash brown with my breakfast. You know, it's not something I usually have. Uh, very rare do I have a hash brown with anything. <clears throat> we hadn't got none in the freezer and it was before 10 o'clock so being Sunday I couldn't go down to the local supermarket and just buy some. I was going to have to make them. So I asked my wife to have a look on the uh, internet for a recipe and I'd never made a hash brown before in my life and they didn't turn out too bad. For those that don't know how to do them just grate up some potato, an onion as well, mix that together then put it in a tea towel, wring it out, put that back in your bowl and season it with a bit of salt and pepper and uh, an egg to bind it and then you make your little pâtés and just put it in some hot oil and fry them up and I had that with a um, um, my wife weren't fancying a breakfast this morning so I just done me and my son one and uh, we had a vine tomato cut in half, an egg, one sausage and the hash brown and is there anything else? Oh a few mushrooms but uh, <coughs> yeah that, so I, I would you know, like to think that I got today off to a good start. So I had a few things to do this afternoon, but before that, my wife nipped off down the shop uh, around about ten o'clock and come back and told me that the car was making a binding noise on the front. Well, the day before, I'd put a new wheel bearing on the front, and uh, it was a right swine of a job to do. But we'd caught the back plate when we'd put it all back together, and it was the back plate rubbing on the brake disc. So I stripped that down, and the other thing I noted uh, was there was uh, black grease on the wheel arch and on the inside of the rim of the wheel. And this was because when I was doing the wheel bearing, I nicked the CV gator, the, you know, the constant velocity joint gator, the rubber boot that goes over the CV. I nicked it, just took a little pick out of it. You know, the, in fact, I hadn't removed the rubber off it, it just peeled it back just a tiny amount. But that was enough for air to get into there. And when the steering uh, was being used left to right, it was opening up this like a bagpipe. And then with the air, it was compressing when it was being steered, the wheel was, and the grease was being spurted up the arch. And when I seen I'd that I'd done this yesterday, I noticed it. I had nicked the gr the gator, and I knew it was going to cause trouble. And lo and behold, today it did. So, what I should have done yesterday was get some super glue out. Uh, was what I had to do today, and uh, you know I'll monitor that to see if it's um, you know holding, and if it does, all well and good. But if not, then the whole hub will have to come back off, and uh, you know we start we'll start again. And, you know, this is uh, what I was talking about. You know, I had lots to do today, and I didn't envision me having to take the wheel back off the car and straighten it, the back plate, and you know, fix the CV gator. Um, what I was hoping to do was what I'd started out um, planning to do today, which was to cut the lawn. And I've been waiting a few days to do that because I had to get a welder first before I could weld the bracket that snapped off the deck. And um, I know a few of you guys know how much grass I have to cut. You know, it involves, you know, a ride on mower. You couldn't physically do it with um, any other mower. I mean, it takes me three hours on a ride on mower to cut the grass and another three hours to trim it all round, you know, to keep the place looking tidy. But, uh, you know, I. I thought to myself this morning I'll put the solar panel out, it means it was bright and sunny, you know, I'll get a good charge on the battery and uh, that thing won't give me any grief. And, <coughs> you know, come the, th the afternoon, I'd finished doing the car, I hadn't done the grass, I looked up at the clouds, it was starting to get a bit of overcast and I thought, it's going to rain, I'm going to be on the mower, you know, half hour and it's gonna, the heavens going to open, open up on me. And I, I just felt by this time completely drained. And, um, you know, I put myself to bed for a bit. And um, I remember when I woke up about an hour later, 
you know, there's nothing. I, I think there's nothing more comforting sometimes than a, you know, I don't know whether it's my old age creeping in on me. You know, I'm only 41, but there's nothing more comforting than getting back in the bed on on a, you know, on the daytime and just closing your eyes for a bit and being wrapped up in the covers. You know, it's it's an escape for me um, to do that. I think you know, just switch off. And maybe that's why I was feeling so drained as I did. And I remember when I woke up, um, my wife very kindly brought me a cup of tea up, a cigarette, <laughs> and uh, three cookies. I asked her for three chocolate cookies. So I'm I'm sitting there up in bed, eating these chocolate cookies and having a sip of my tea, thinking about lighting up my cigarette. And I don't know what it is about me, because you have moments of... I have seem to have moments of inspiration at that period of time where you're just coming back out, you know, back into this world from where you've been asleep, you know, your unconsciousness. And I wonder if on the other side of wherever we go when we're, you know, completely out for the count, whether when we're about to leave that place and come back to our, you know, conscious being on this planet, whether we're still unplugging some of the tapes yet, you know, we are here on this side of the world or, um, you know, reality, um, you know, slowly awakening, but all the plugs from the other side haven't been unconnected, and I suppose that's probably, it's just the way I like to think about it, you know, we're, um, we're coming back into the conscious, and we're unplugging over that side, maybe that is the side that we're really awake and alive on, and this side is just a dream, uh, do you ever think like that, guys, by the way? Anyhow, <coughs> what was so good about this moment of inspiration? is I was thinking about the perspective of the universal conscious um, with regards to looking down on Earth. And if you remember, I was talking about the individual kingdoms within us, you know, and that we should, you know, ins be inspired to improve on those kingdoms. You know, uh, we should be nice, you know, try and be as best and as good a human being as we possibly can and I think that, that is a good road to start in building up your com your kingdom within you and the perspective of God looking at earth uh, must be uh, that of seeing these wonderful uh, kingdoms that people have here and it must be also um, not that often to see these wonderful kingdoms shining like they do here on earth and I thought to myself it must be like that saying as above so below you know and what that means is that which is above is like that which is below and that which is below is like that which is above and to achieve the wonders of one thing um, you know, I'm reading this now off the screen, I'll put it on the note. Uh, therefore, this is the foundation of astrology and alchemy, uh, the microism, uh, microism of mankind and the earth is a reflection of the macroism of God and the heavens. And um, I think that's a wonderful thing, you know, what a, what a thought to have on moments of waking up. And here's where, you know, I can relate that what I've just read off that notepad that I put on there back to you now with what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is that as we look up to the heavens, we see the stars shining, right? And there is amidst all the darkness, these wonderful um, stars emitting light. And God, like I was saying, just must look back on the earth and see these wonderful um, speckles of brightness and it is uh, the kingdoms within us that illuminate this light and just like you know the stars are scattered uh, very uh, randomly amongst the darkness so are these wonderful kingdoms that people hold here on earth and it is that saying as above so below and it was just having that moment there of inspiration you know thinking about that just moments after I was you know waking up and coming back into conscious that I thought you know what I wonder if I could put this in words 
and put it out there in a video and just share that information with other people you know because it's nice I think to discuss other things um, other than the usual stuff we do cover quite a few subjects on this this channel current affairs economic uh, um, deterioration as well as uh, climate change and of course what I'm probably most uh, known for the magnetic pole shift or pole shift news but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, you know I just want to put the question out there do you uh, ever get these moments of inspiration and perhaps if you've got the time and you don't mind sharing it you know put it in the comment section you know I'd love to read some of your views on that and I, I, I've got to say guys I don't mind how long you want to make them but please <laughs> you know don't just copy the whole bible and put it in the section I mean I'm sure there's a limit as to how much the comment section can get uh, you know withstand there but um, you know I just thought isn't it nice to talk about something positive for once as opposed to always on a negative tone and <clears throat> the other thing is guys you know uh, I did make a few notes I think I've covered mo most of them uh, just give me a second, I'll just have a little look through this. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to just mention on on this note was, um, you know, it was in a similar manner that I came across the universal equation. And the universal equation is a mathematical formula for some of those that haven't seen it. And there, I think I've done a video on uh, Maverick Star Reloaded. Uh, you can, it's well worth having a look at that equation because it's just mind-blowing basically it means is that the universe is operating on a binary system so therefore it must be intelligence and if it's intelligence then it's also conscious and if it's conscious and intelligent it must be a form of superior life form of some sorts and uh, you know I just wanted to add that to this video because I think you know the two go hand in hand with each other and uh, I've always pondered um, you know that that uh, little sentence as above so below so you know I suppose it could mean a lot of things um, on a macro scale on a micro scale um, and again uh, when we look at the Mandelbrot equation and those um, patterns that the Mandelbrot equation uh, brings out we can see that there is boundaries as is in with the um, you know the universal equation I think that that is what the zeros part of the universal equation is it's that what stops the Mandelbrot equation uh, from overflowing off the screen and and losing itself it has to have some form of boundary or law that keeps it uh, within the computer screen I'm not saying that any of it can leak off the screen I'm just saying that a program has to have its limitations added into the program so that these things don't happen because we could wander off into just darkness in that Mandelbrot equation as it's going through the Mandelbrot patterns so um, and if you're not aware of the Mandelbrot have a look at them it's them fractal patterns that keep reappearing you know as we go deeper into the pattern we start off with what we um, or we end with what we started off only it doesn't end it just continues going on and going on and it's a little bit again like the universe does guys you know I want to thank you for your time and um, you know you yeah, by all means, give me your um, your thoughts on your moments of um, inspiration. You know, if you don't mind sharing them, put them in a comment there, and we'll have a we'll have a good read, and maybe it might just might just send us off in a new direction um, and a topic. Who knows? And, and on that note, I'll say what I usually do, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, you know, be safe, and bye for now.